All right. <clears throat> I am not bragging or boasting. It does make me feel good to say things in videos and then to witness other people out here that say the same thing. How would it make you feel that you would make videos? It'd make me feel happy. That what you would hear the same people out here profess when they profess the truth. You would also. You know, Michaela Cooper, with a K, K-O-O, she made a video destroying Once Saved. Do you know what she used in that video that I have brought up within the last few months multiple times? And it's actually in the Bible. What I professed, and I would be willing to bet that she wasn't just using her own words herself. I didn't go back and look, but I heard what she said. Do you know what she said that I have brought up? Okay. I don't know why I looked up grieving the Holy Spirit one day. And then I looked at a scripture in the book of Isaiah. Okay. I looked up a scripture in the book of Isaiah talking about grieving the Holy Spirit, talking about how God had given the Holy Spirit to these people. And they, gr they grieved the Holy Spirit and God was their enemy. This is 100% confirmation that this is the truth, people. Do you know how you grieve the Holy Spirit? by being in sin unrepentant sin sin that you're not going to turn from and it doesn't make a difference whether it's one day it's fornication the next day it's lying to someone if you think it's okay it's not Now, what did Michaela Cooper bring up in that video, destroying once saved? That God would be your enemy. Go look! I just got done watching the video today! Just minutes ago! And she said that God would be their enemy. You can't grieve the Holy Spirit. That's why you were told not to grieve the Holy Spirit. That is the answer, people. It has been the answer this whole time. If you give your life to Christ, you turn to Him... You turn from sin. You go back into a life of sin. You'll grieve the Holy Spirit and God will be your enemy. Go and watch her video and see if she does not say that God will be their enemy if they remain in sin. You got to turn from wickedness, people, to be a Christian. To be a follower of Christ, you have to be obedient. Being obedient is submitting and adhering to the Word of God. This is the truth. Always has been the truth. Like I said, people, I don't think you realize that some people think I'm probably arrogant. They probably think I'm mean. I'm not trying to be mean. Right now, I have to be overcoming, and I'm not. I am not an overcomer right now. 
Some one minute I have godly sorrow to repent, the next minute I don't care. One minute I have godly sorrow to repent, the next minute I don't care. But am I repenting? No, I'm just acknowledging. That's all I'm doing. It's a truth. I mean, this is a testimony of my life right now. Right now, in the moment, that is my life. And at the end of the day, I can't even really say if I'm a hypocrite. I'm doing exactly what God asked of me. Whether, I prefer, whether I'm living in the truth, or I have the truth, or blah, 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 blah. The only reason why somebody would say I'm a hypocrite is because I'm telling somebody something and I'm not even doing it on my own. Again, I've let this sin take root. That's what I've done. That's the, the God, God's honest truth is that I've let this sin take root. The problems that I have in my life right now. And I'm not trying to do anything about it. And I'm not even so sure right now if I can even do anything about it. And that's my fault. Not your fault. Not God's fault. Nobody's fault but mine. I'm not fighting the temptation of sin. I'm not crucifying the flesh. And I'm not denying self. Do you know what's weird? Do you know I watched a video the other day where somebody professed what denying self was? And I even made a video saying what denying self means it means to not be like you were when you were the way you were you give your life to Christ you're a new creation you're you let you allow the holy spirit to reign in your life. Look how powerful the Holy Spirit is that it was God's Spirit that created this world. And if the Holy Spirit can create the world from nothing, you think the Holy Spirit can't change a person? But when people don't want to be changed because they don't think that they need to change, then there's a good chance they're not going to change. And, like I said, the worst thing a Christian could possibly ever do, ever do, is for here a man or a woman out here profess a lie and you believe in it. That's the worst thing. And that's what's happening. People are professing by reading the Bible. But here is where it counts, and it's not there. The majority of Christians do not have it right here. That's where I don't have it. Do you see I'm hitting myself in the chest? I ain't got it. So there ain't a one of y'all out here that can get mad at me for telling the truth. Well, I've got to go inside right now. Uh, like I said, you have to turn from sin. You have to turn from wickedness. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do have to turn from sin. God's people do not sin. Right there in the Bible. <laughs>